Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on primary postpartum hemorrhage assessment and management. For introduction, primary postpartum hemorrhage refers to excessive bleeding that occurs within 24 hours after giving birth. It is one of the most common and potentially life-threatening complications of childbirth. PPH is classified as primary when the blood loss is more than 500 milliliters in a vaginal delivery, or more than 1,000 milliliters in a cesarean section. The four main causes of primary PPH are tone, tissue, trauma, and thrombin. Tone is the most common cause. For assessment, we rub the uterus to assess the size and tone of uterus. For treatment, do uterine massage. Empty the bladder. Give oxytoxics such as pitocin or syntomatrine. For pitocin, give IM pitocin bolus 10 units, or IV pitocin bolus 5 units slow bolus over 1 to 2 minutes. Dose may be repeated after 5 minutes, up to total dose of 10 units. Then start IV infusion of oxytocin infusion 40 units in 1 pint normal saline, given for 4 hours, at rate of 125 milliliters per hour. Whereas for syntomatrine, give IM1 ampule stat. Take note that syntomatrine is contraindicated in hypertension and cardiac disease. Other options are carboprost, given IM250 mcg stat, can repeat up to max 8 doses at 15 minutes intervals. However, if bleeding continue after 3 doses, consider surgical methods to stop bleeding. Uterine tamponade using Bakri balloon is considered first-line surgical intervention. If uterine tamponade fails or bleeding continues, resort to other surgical intervention. Uterine preservation techniques include B. Lynch brace suture, uterine artery ligation, and internal iliac ligation. Last resort is to do hysterectomy. There are some temporary measures while awaiting medication to work, awaiting theater or transfer, such as bimanual uterine compression, aortic compression, and anti-shock garment during transfer. Next, the second common cause is trauma to perineum. For assessment, we can do a systemic perineal examination. Place patient in lithotomy position. Use sim speculum with good lighting. Walk cervix circumferentially. Examination of vulva and vagina up to fornix for tear or hematoma and do a per-rectal exam to assess for obstetrics anal sphincter injury and buttonhole tear. For treatment, attempt immediate repair. For examination under anesthesia if repair difficult. If bleeding continues, for vaginal packing while awaiting transfer or theater. Need high index of suspicion for uterine rupture. Laparotomy for suspected uterine rupture. For uterine tear during C-section, repair should be done by experienced person. Ensure adequate exposure, extend incision, exteriorize uterus and deflect bladder, and exploration of broad ligament. Identify apex and suture in two layers. Insert drain. And abdominal packing can be considered for hemostasis. The third cause of PPH is retained tissue in the uterus. For assessment, check for placenta and membrane completeness. To do manual removal of placenta or digital evacuation of the product of conception if there is evidence of retained placenta. Lastly, thrombin. Take history of coagulopathy, abnormal level of platelet, or coagulation screen. Once diagnosed, correct the coagulopathy. That's all for this video. Thank you.